little Nook Dogs, and I'm going to show you how to make a 3D dog latte art trinket box. And my inspiration picture should be popping up right about now. So this is a brand new space for me. This is my brand new desk where I hope to be making more videos from now on for you guys. So also if you can hear that whirring noise coming from outside the window up there, uh, that would be my neighbor who just decided to mow his lawn at 7.30 on a weeknight. Neighbor goals. So if you stay tuned, we'll get right to it. So first you're either going to, want to find yourself one of these little ceramic miniature coffee cups. This came in like a miniature like teapot and tea set, you know, for like the little girls and you can like paint on whatever you want. So if you don't have one of these, you could make one yourself out of clay or find one ceramic. Um, I believe I've seen these at like, I don't know, just little like holders or something like this at dollar stores and they, or at least in my local dollar store, they have like miniature salt and pepper stickers that are little coffee cups. So if you can't find anything, you could obviously make your own using air dry clay or polymer clay. Also, you're going to be needing some clay. I'm using air dry clay because obviously if you have one already that's ceramic, you don't want to put this in the oven. So you're going to want to get yourself some air dry clay, but if you're making your own coffee cup out of polymer clay, you could easily use polymer clay again to fill everything in. So I'm going to be using some air dry clay. So for air dry clay, obviously it's going to dry, you know, without being baked in the oven. And I'm probably not going to be able to use all of this. Well, actually, I'm definitely not going to use all of this considering this is the cup and uh, we're only filling the top. So you can't just let this sit out or else all of it will dry up and crumble. So you're going to need some extra care. So you're probably going to need a large Ziploc baggie and some saran wrap. And yes, this is wrapped around a ruler because I couldn't bring the entire box. So open up your clay and get out all the pieces that you want. So you're going to want to also have some wipes on hand. Just wrap up any clay that you have and keep it nice and soft. Why don't you take this and put it in your Ziploc baggie and wrapping it up in saran wrap. Also in this video, I'm trying to stay away from the regular clay tools that not everybody has and use things that I have from just around the house. So you're going to want to stack up a few popsicle sticks to the thickness you want your clay lid to be. I'm using about three. Then you're going to want to take your clay and pop it right in the center. Then, take anything cylinder that you have, mine just happens to be a perfume bottle, and roll it out. And this creates an even layer. Then you're going to want to take your coffee cup and lay it on top. Then you're going to want to press down to create the indent of the inside of the coffee cup. And then you're going to want to press all the way down. So you have a nice round circle that fits inside the cup. Like this. And set this off to the side and wrap it up in your wipe. Set this piece off to the side and stack up any popsicle sticks again. I'm using two instead of three this time. And roll it out one more time. And press down on this one more time, but only create an indent. Then cut around this, leaving a nice border using a cheese knife. Then take the one you cut out before and lay it on top. And create a nice 
even border all the way around it. This will create the basic shape of your lid. And for a place to lift the lid, take a popsicle stick and make a small indent on the side. This will create a place to lift the lid once it's flipped over. Then you're going to want to take it out small. Then you're going to need to create four balls, two small ones, one slightly bigger one than the small ones, and then a large one about the size of the base of your lid. So then you're going to want to set the small ones off to the side and possibly wrap them up in a little wipe. And then you're going to want to set this on top and make sure it's all blended onto here and this is going to be the base for your head. Then you're going to want to begin blending it in. going to want to start adding texture by moving a bamboo skewer the pointy end in small circles and this is going to look like the whipped foam then you're going to want to let it sit and dry i like to let mine sit for a few days just to make sure it's hard and you know it's not still wet because usually when you let it dry like the bottom doesn't dry at the same pace because it's kind of concealed underneath of it so it should look a little something like this, and you're going to want to measure it on your cut. And mine fits pretty well, so if it didn't, you could sand it down. And you're going to want to get yourself some chalk pastels. These are just Mongolia pastels that I got off of Amazon. And a small plate of water. So then... You're also probably going to want some parchment paper. This is just what came in the box. These off to the side. Then you're going to want to take either some black or dark brown pastel and shave off a bit. Then take a little bit of water and mix it in comes a little paste and then you're going to want to dab it on for the eyes and nose I'm going to take some brown pastel and mix this in with the black. Mix in a little tiny bit of water. And use that for the eyes as well. And you're done. Also, if you really want to get 
risky, you can use maybe some colorful pastels and make a collar. But I'm going to choose not to do this because I want it to look even more realistic. 